Hi, I'm Christy Curry from Washington Families United, and I have went through this corruption for 17 years on and off. I've had been brought to court to have my rights terminated on three different occasions and have won my termination trials, um, but only for them to harass me and hold my children. Um, I, did, I did get my children back, but my children were returned to me and uh, abused physically, sexually, and all sorts of manners. Um, I also, my uh, youngest daughter believes I adopted her from foster care because um, <laughs> she's very confused on, you know, what's happened. And she, she got real sick, almost died when she got taken my grandparents. They took her from uh, Western Washington to Eastern Washington with a hundred and six temperature. And she nearly died. Um, these are my t court transcripts. I am aware that Judge Godfrey thinks he's God. Um, I've never heard him say it specifically, but he's talked to me like he's God and he's done everything he's not supposed to. And these are my transcripts from August 14th, 2009 and August or April uh, 19th, 2010. And there is a story about Daniel. And the story of Daniel well, this is what Godfrey told to my daughter, or he said to her attorney. He said, you forgot to tell her about Daniel. Didn't she tell you about Daniel? See, Daniel one time, I wanted Daniel to go live with his uncle on the beach in Hawaii because it was all goofed up. Can you believe the guy didn't want to go to Hawaii? You know, you're 16, 17 years old, and you don't want to live on the beach in Hawaii with your uncle and your aunt and no other kids, and they're and they're going to also, not only that, they're going to put you in a private school. Not only that, they're gonna pay for your college education and I don't wanna go. Can you believe that? You know, after Daniel spent 258 days in juvenile hall, he decided to go to Hawaii. Uh, there's other stuff in here where I've been reprimanded for going on the local radio station and talking about my case. And I happened to go to the courthouse on that morning because I was there with the client and found out that Judge Godfrey and all of his personnel uh, put the court on recess for over 45 minutes to listen to me speak. Um, I mean, there's, there's just so, so much. I mean, they always wanted to know what my purpose was going on the local radio um, is what they asked me in transcripts. I'll, I'll provide the transcripts to show a lot more. I mean, really all someone has to know is you have to shift the burden of proof off of yourself onto them because you can't prove a negative didn't happen.